Today we're having a coaching conversation with Harvey Lewis. Now you may know him as a runner, but here he is a teacher at SCPA here in Cincinnati. That's your day job that you do. Running is your hobby, but it certainly has turned into more than just a hobby for you. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But, you know, when kids come back to school after their summer break, a lot of times, you know, they stand up and they talk about what they did on their summer vacation. You are the one who had a lot to talk about, about what you did for your summer vacation this year. Tell us a little it, bit about that. Yeah, this, this summer was really uh, just so much larger uh, of an experience than I ever dreamed. Uh, I originally I came up with this plan about a year earlier to hike, run, or run and hike the Appalachian Trail and go for the fastest known time. And my father jumped aboard for the trip. And so basically we had this old uh, F-250 work van that my father drove and met me along the journey. And we covered 2,190 miles, mm. uh, just an incredible stretch of a country and uh, it was really special because we had so many Cincinnatians that came out to the adventure and people that followed locally from the news stations and others that they got got along with it so it, it was it was really something special and I and I have to say I have been Waiting for this Coca-Cola <laughs> for several bells now. Because <laughs> so that's what you, I mean, you I drink, oh, you train, mm. and you drink that. I do. Actually, it's like my favorite drink when I'm running a far race. Yeah. I call it jet fuel. <laughs> and so it's like, it, it is incredible. For me, it's just, it tastes amazing, and it has uh, the calories I need to burn while I'm going really far distances. So I'm like, <laughs> it's kind of a treat. Like I don't always drink one every day, but when I, when I, it's like oh, treasure. Wow, well, it, yeah. it is. It is yeah. our <laughs> privilege and our honor to be able to give you a coke today. Now, talking about the Appalachian Trail, I have read so many articles and and books about people being on the trail and how not only do they have these stories from the trail, but Really, the trail changes them, changing their perspective on life, changing really how they see things. How did it change you? Yeah, you know, I, really, it was, it was so amazing to, to meet all these people that were out there uh, along the Appalachian Trail. And I guess it, it definitely added uh, to my appreciation of this country, of the people in the country. I, every single person I met on the Appalachian Trail had their own special story. Mm -hmm. And you found, uh, there, in fact, there's a family of eight, uh, the Crawford family, who are from Cincinnati, right. who are out there on the trail. You, you, you find like, remarkable stories like that to folks that are like, in their 60s and 70s that have dreamed of, of going out to the Appalachian Trail their entire life, and now they're out there doing that to younger people that are in the midst of college or graduate high school, we're out there. So I, it was just really uh, an amazing impression on me to see um, these normal folks that were out there doing like an extraordinary endurance event uh, themselves. And a lot of them had never done anything remarkably like that ever before, from like camping outside to covering more than you know, a dozen miles. So it was pretty amazing to see that. And then you have people that come out that are these trail angels. And these are folks that maybe live in the area. And they'll come out and they'll leave a cooler of Coca-Cola and other types of snacks for people. And when you come out to a trailhead and you see one of these coolers and it says something really special on it and wishes you well, you know, it's just something to make your day. So you know, it, it, was, it was nice to see the greatness of uh, the people that are out along the Appalachian Trail, and, and just, uh, it, it definitely gave me a, a, a positive sense of like, a, of just the goodness in the world. And there's a movie now about this. Yes, 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 so <laughs> we- Starring Harvey Lewis. Well, <laughs> it, my father, really, he's the star. <laughs> I'm, I'm secondary. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like Harvey like son. And uh, basically, uh, it was really amazing that, that we had road ID, uh, along with Harris Media Studios that, that came out and documented the journey 
my father is really the star, though. <laughs> he is. I mean, it, it, he, he's, a, he's 79, and he, uh, he just has no hesitation to just jump into the thick of it. And, I mean, really, it was, it was challenging for him to drive that van over all these Appalachian Mountain roads and dirt roads and gravel roads and to try to find a little spot in the map to where the, there's an intercept. And oftentimes there are only like maybe three or four intersections a day where the, the uh, trail actually met a road. And so it was really important that we hit each other. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Why did you get involved in... I mean, it's not just running, but it's distance running. You run for 24 hours straight. You run 100 miles. How did you come about with this long distance running, the ultra running? Yeah, you know, I, actually, it's, it's been like a progression. Now, I was tell people last night, uh, two nights ago, I was running with some folks who were training for the Flying Pig Marathon with Tri-State. And uh, I said uh, there were a couple of them that it was going to be their first marathon this, or it's going to be their first marathon this spring. And I said, well, just wait, because <laughs> it's easy to get wrapped in because uh, we have a really wonderful running community, especially here in Cincinnati. I love the experience of the community, but I also like to push myself and challenge myself. Uh, there was a, a lady uh, who's a friend of mine in Minnesota, uh, Audrey Schroeder, and she was in her 50s back in the 1990, or 1990s, and she uh, knew I had run a marathon, and she's like, oh, Harvey, I've got to take you out to this 24-hour race. And so I went out there with her, and uh, I thought, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. These people are, like, really going for 24 hours? What's wrong with them? <laughs> so I would, I'm like, I will never do that. I would never, 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 never do that. And sure enough, uh, a few years later, I was kind of searching for a, a mountain uh, to climb, and uh, and that was the mountain. And I thought back to that <laughs> experience. So I would never. So be careful what you say. You'll never do. Yeah. And that has just. Uh, it was such a positive experience I had in that event that it just continued to build on itself from there. So talking about running, and you mentioned the flying pig. You have several streaks going on in your life right now. The first one is. The flying pig. You are a streaker. You have done all 20 flying pigs. You have a loyalty to that race. I definitely do. The flying pig is my favorite, mm -hmm. and uh, that's probably my favorite streak I have of anything, and uh, the one I would uh, most adamantly want to keep. Um, but uh, yeah, there's uh, some other streaks. I, I kind of enjoy the idea of this doing the streaks because it it adds that mo layer of motivation. Yeah, I have a streak with uh, eating plant-based foods. Now, I've been doing that since 96, back in the day. And also with uh, run, running and hiking or biking under human power to work. So that's five and a half years now. And then my four-year running streak, where I run every day at least a mile, is this Saturday. So almost a four years. And it's like the time's just flown by. It's kind of wild, uh, but uh, I, I love it. I would encourage people to consider like trying, you know, one of the street, try a street. Maybe you're gonna sign up to an event. You're gonna like keep that street going with the flying pig, half marathon or full marathon or something. You know, you can start your street this year. So we have been honored to be able to share a coke with you today. If you had an opportunity to share a coke with anyone, who would it be? Well, definitely my dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So my father, he put up with this whole summer of a, a crazy adventure. And uh, we had some Coca-Colas on the Appalachian Trail that were to die for. They, just a dream. I mean, that was priceless, really priceless. And uh, so it, definitely my father. Harvey Lewis, thank you for yeah. having a Coke and Cheers. conversation with us. Cheers. Appreciate that.